This is Mark from Team How To, and we're teaching the masses how to. Hey guys, it's Mark from Team How To. Today I want to talk about plosives or trying to prevent the plosive or a popping P when you're using a microphone, uh, such as I am doing right now. Uh, first thing you want to do is you want to avoid the popping P if you can help it, in which case the best way I've found to do that is to not not speak directly into the microphone, but sort of across the microphone so that if you did pop a P, it would not affect a direct hit to the microphone. And of course you can go online and get a uh, filter or a screen to put in front of your microphone, which also does a really good job as well. But let's say you can't avoid it or you haven't avoided it and you want to get rid of it after the fact. Well, that's what we need to talk about here. What I want to do is uh, do an example using Audacity, and I'm going to try to pop a few peas, so I'm going to have to directly speak into the microphone. Peter Piper was a particularly petulant person who pretended to be Peter Pan. Okay, so we've got us a little something to work with here. Now let's go in and see what we've got. What I'm going to do is bring this down a bit. And for the sake of comparison, let's highlight this. Control C, Control V, let's say Control V. There we go, so now we have one of each. I'm going to slide this over. This will be our control, that way we'll know what it sounds like with and without it. You can see all the areas where it's got the super high um, areas where it's coming off the charts here. I'm gonna scroll way in like this. And you'll, you'll note the P's like right through here. If we're to highlight this, oops, for the highlight this, you'll hear that that's probably if there's exactly so there's a P so what we'll do is we'll go into the effect we'll go down to the filter curve you could use the graphics EQ but the filter curves what I'm going to use filter curve I've got it set up already at the 100 Hertz rumble so we go to the factory presets 100 Hertz rumble what that's going to do is take everything from 140 Hertz and blow it's going to take it and knock it out mostly so I'm going to hit is uh, hit OK and that's going to you can see right here where it actually affected it really well and here's probably another P. Let's listen. Pretended to. Yeah. Yes. Okay, so let's knock out this section here. Same way, hit the effect. Go into the filter. I'll do it on the other one this time. Graphics EQ. Again, you can either flatten that first or whatever, but hit manage. Factory presets, 100 hertz rumble. You can see this is the same, same way of doing it. Hit OK, and you can see what it does to it. Now let's just scroll this back in. We'll see if how they compare. You may or may not notice without headphones on, but you can definitely see the advantage that it's done to it. A Peter Pan. Peter Piper was a particularly petulant person who pretended to be Peter Pan. I think I definitely could tell the difference. That petulant part there, that's the one I really noticed it on. Pe that's where it says petulant. So right here is the same place. Let's knock that out real quick. See if we can help it. Effect, filter curve, okay. You can see it knocked it, just knocked it down. Patch. Yeah, well, I think that's a pretty good example. Let me, um, let me knock out everything but the petulant and see if we can compare that. Get rid of that, get rid of that, get rid of that, get rid of that. All right, so now we have Basically, I think, if I did it right, we have Petulant in there twice. The first one will be the one that was fixed. The second one will be the one that was not. So let's see what Petulant. Got. Petulant. I'm going to try that again. Petulant. Petulant. I definitely think there's a little bit better. Can't say for sure, but we can definitely see that it made the effect. So that's what I've got. Hopefully it helps. Uh, you can mess around with it a little, take a little more of the low end out. You could try taking a little less of the low end out, but mainly try to avoid that from the beginning by not directly speaking into the microphone, more of an across pattern across the microphone, or of course get a filter or a screen to keep that from happening. Hope this helps. Good luck. Hey, did you remember to subscribe?